Hey everyone, my name is Elena Norris. And my name is Brock Green. And we are so excited to welcome everyone back to the first What's Up in the Upper School for the 2021-2022 school year. There has been so much that is going on with our Spartans on and off campus. Our basketball teams have, work, have been working hard through the season and we have a first look with Coach Norris. We also had our first house basketball championship game with Haslam versus Hensley in a coach's interview. I think the difference in the divisions honestly is at the bottom of the leagues. I think the high end of single A and double A, very comparable. You know, like it, when we played single A for the last 12 years, we played against three or four NBA guys, like guys that were good enough and have eventually went on and played in the NBA. Um, you know, so the top of single A is really, really good. There are some years it's better than double A, but in double A, there are no nights off. And, you know, that that's the difference. In single A, you've got some really small schools that, that you have to play in your district, and, and that can be frustrating for both teams. Um, but that that's the one difference is just the consistency, or excuse me, the quality of the depth uh, in the AA league is, is much greater. Thanks so much for that first look, Coach Norris. We are so proud of our Spartan athletes and extremely proud of our basketball champs. After the big game, the new house school stand at. Just like our basketball players, our dance team has been working so hard on and off the sidelines. Many of the dancers have been traveling across the nation and competing in shows and performances. Here's an insider scoop with Macy Norris. Senior Jazz is such a powerful team. What do y'all talk about before you take the floor? Um, I think we talk about showing everybody what we have. We're not usually a strong Jazz team, and this year we literally just put everything into it. And want to go out on this floor one last time as this team and just show them what we got. Would you say you're proud of your day one performance? I am so proud of our day one performance. I don't think we've ever looked like that on same as I'm so proud of my team. Do you think you have any improvements to make for day two? Yes, definitely. We saw some stuff in our video that we can go back and fix, definitely, but I'm very proud of what we did today. Your fans, coaches, and teammates have energy out there that is like no other. What does it mean to you to be a part of this program? It means everything to me. I've been a part of it since I was three, and I've been doing nationals for eight years. So being here my senior year and all the support that I have just really means the world. What would it mean to you if you could take home a championship title this weekend? I think it would mean everything, literally the world, if we came home with the win. My favorite part of Orta is that I get to be with so many people that I love for so long. We spend like 15 to 20 hours in the studio every week, so we get to be so close doing the things we love with the people we love. Thank you, Macy, for that exclusive interview. Well, what are some of the clubs up to? The Essexville team and the Latin club celebrated Toga Day in their first competition. Here's a glance at some past and up-and-coming club events. Ethicsville recently had their regional competition last Saturday, and here's a quick glance of what that was like with Mr. Shannon. So how did the Ethics Bowl on Saturday go? We took three teams, which is unusual. Usually we only get one, um, and we came in third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, two of our teams made the semifinals. And what is the upcoming chapel debate about? We don't know. We're trying to pick a good topic that will keep people interested. So that's going to be decided in the next week or so. And when will it be? I think, I want to say April 14th. I think it's the day before tax day. A few weeks ago, the Latin classes also celebrated Toga Day, a day in which they all wore Roman clothing in order to get extra credit. Here's a clip of Miss Fields explaining what Toga Day is about and what it was like. Well, Toga Day began maybe my second year of teaching here at Webb. So at this point, I think it's been going on for maybe five or six years. So it's become a bit of an annual tradition and it's grown. It started where every one of my Latin students had to make a Roman costume to wear in my class. Um, and it was a graded assessment. So I would see it and look for things like creativity, originality, uh, authenticity, of course. Uh, but then it has sort of grown since then with a handful of students asking if they could wear their togas all day to their other classes, which many students elect to do now for extra credit. Um, and it's also been tied into what we call Arcana Romana or Roman dinner, where uh, students wear their togas to gondolier restaurant for a quote unquote Italian uh, feast uh, or Roman dinner. Uh, we've also added and reached out to the lower school where the students, even in the cold early morning, will open doors and say salve to omnes and happy toga day to the lower school kids as they come in. 
Thanks so much, Macy, for that club update. The togas were so fun and authentic. Now our pop culture update. Rising the charts as number one billboard hit for two weeks is We Don't Talk About Bruno from the new Disney movie Encanto by Lynn manuel Miranda. Rumors confirm that Zendaya and Tom Holland bought a house together in London and plan to move in in the summer of 2022. Speaking of Zendaya, she breaks the records for the being the youngest actor to win three Emmys for the award-winning new show on HBO Max, Euphoria. The winners of this year's Super Bowl were the Rams, with the score being 20 to 23. Rumors of Tom Brady's retirement are confirmed as Brady finishes his career with seven Super Bowl titles. And that's a wrap for the first What's Up in the Upper School. See you next time.